up next. He has an obsession. It seems to have paid off. You're going to meet a valley man who loves the thrill of the hunt. We're talking about scorpions here. He's going to give us some tips on catching them because this week they could be out in full force. Also some tips on how to keep them out of your house and your yard. <laughs> Get them away from me. When I saw our first scorpion in this home, I may have gone a little overboard with lights, sprays, and even 12 inch tweezers. I keep all the scorpions I find in a mason jar. Lots of people like to brag about their scorpion horror stories, but here's my proof. Uh, all right, here we go. <laughs> We're taking a look at a jar of bugs, a mason jar of scorpions here. So I've got Cole and Jim, and we were talking about the ultimate scorpion hunter challenge. Now, I have to confess something to you guys. I grew up here in the valley. I have never seen a scorpion in person, except for the one that my dad held in his um, belt buckle. <laughs> so there you this go. Is the first time I've seen them. I like them this way, where they're not moving around, stinging you, crawling on your legs here. So, all right, Jim, you started the ultimate scorpion hunter challenge. What is that about? Well, it's frankly to, to increase awareness. First, the fact that there are many places throughout the valley. Yeah. And secondly, you can do something about it. Okay, what can you do? Okay, first of all, you can get rid of them outside. And this is not the greatest prop you've ever seen, but that's a river rock. Oh, you're not and talking about like smashing them with no, a rock? No, okay. that's what I thought, the foot also. But the river rock insulates. So if you set the river rock on the ground here, now today is not too warm, later on that'll be so hot you can't touch it. Uh -huh. But underneath it is cool. So bugs, just like the, gra the gravel here, bugs yeah. hide under things like that. Okay. And they like, <clears throat> they're protected. They don't come out till at night. So we want to not have those? So you know, everybody has it in Arizona. This is standard landscaping. Uh -huh. So to get rid of the scorpions, you treat the area around your building to kill them outside before they get in. Okay, and then I'm gonna come back to you in a second to find out what we do when they do come in, because Cole, you, yeah. they did come in, and then you started collecting they them. They came in, I started collecting. I moved into a new home about a year ago and uh, found that I had scorpions. Never had any problems before, uh -huh. and I found these guys online, and they taught me how to treat them. Okay, so now, how many do you have in this jar now? I would say, in this jar, I've got about 400, and they get all dried up and shriveled. But this isn't all, these are not all from inside your house? No, oh, okay. I've actually got friends who call me, uh, who ask me to come and search their homes. And do you have like a Ghostbuster mobile? A scorpion I hunter should, I mobile? Yes, one, right? you yeah. do, yeah. you Anyone do. Have a hearse that I could get? Yeah. All right, so what do you do when they come into your house? Uh, so I, I don't let them in my house. I keep them out of my house, and I spray my walls, I pick them up with tweezers, and I drop them in the jar, and I get to tell lots of horror stories to friends. <laughs> okay, perfect. So now what do you recommend if they do get inside your house? What should we be doing? Okay, well, again, remember, they all came from outside. Mm -hmm. So ideally, your main uh, emphasis is to protect the outside with a thing called a granule. And if your camera can hit on that, a granule looks like salt. And you sprinkle them out very lightly and water them in. And the water carries that chemical down under the gravel where all kinds of bugs are. And then you take a, an odorless spray and use a little pump sprayer as small as this. And you just simply spray up the wall about two feet around your door and window frames. We, we have instructions for all that. But that gets them before they get in. If you want to test to see what's going on in your house, these are a magnificent uh, diagnostic tool. It's called a glue trap. Okay. You simply peel it off, place it under an appliance, in a corner uh, of a patio, okay. and leave it there. It will not lie. It will tell you what kind of critters, including scorpions, are out there. Where do we find these? We have them in the store. They're like 99 cents, but they're very useful to see what you have. Okay. All right. And then so when we do know what we have, we get ourselves some 12 inch tweezers there or we you call go. somebody else, right? Yeah. <laughs> right? Or you can do it yourself, right? That's the point of Bug and Weed Mart. You can go in, get all this stuff and do it yourself. So why did you choose Cole to be the hunter? We didn't. He came to us. Oh, yes. you named yourself the ultimate? Well, they, yeah. they started up this challenge on Facebook, and I right. submitted a video, and uh, they liked he it, won. so yeah. here I am. Okay, so if you catch a lot of scorpions, I guess, submit your you own video, right? And yeah. then we'll compare yeah. mason jars. Okay, there we go. perfect. It's a great white elephant gift as well. <laughs> Is it, though? <laughs> Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Good to see you.